everyone. It's Nicole, the math lady. And today we're working on some practice problems for lesson 22, which is about equal group stories with fractions. I don't know. It's a long title. I got to look it up. Oh, I was right. Equal group stories with fractions. Okay, look, you're probably going, what does that mean? That is really just another way to say fraction of a whole number. And you've been doing that already. So we're just going to show it to you in another form. And I think you're going to be like golden on this, right? All right, take a look. Two thirds of the 18 teachers were super cool. Not sure if that's a real word or not, but you know what I mean. You know, there's sometimes people who are like super cool. How many were super cool? I told you two thirds of the 18, you figured out, give me a number. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Two thirds of the 18 teachers. So remember, two part problem. Step one is we've got to divide our 18 teachers into three groups. So let's do that. 18 divided by three. That's my step one. That gives me six. That means, I'm gonna draw this out for you, that there are three groups. One, two, three of 18 teachers, and each group has six teachers in it. That's step one. Step two says, highlight two of those groups. Okay, here we go. One and two, which is the same thing as saying, for my step two, six times two. Six times two equals 12. So that means that 12 of my 18 teachers were super cool. Here's your second problem. Nicole ate four sevenths of the 28 cookies. Don't judge, they were Oreos. How many cookies did she eat? Or she, hopefully that's somebody else we're talking about, not me. Okay, ready, go. Here's how we do this problem. Remember, two steps. Step one, divide up my 28 cookies into seven groups, my denominator. 28 divided by seven. So I'm gonna draw my little diagram here and I'm gonna do seven groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, not perfect, but you get the idea. 28 divided by seven equals four, nice. So each one of my groups has four cookies in it. I'm gonna put 28 up here so I don't forget. That's step one. Step two is I'm gonna highlight four of my groupings. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That is the same thing as saying four times four equals 16, which means that Nicole ate 16 of the 28 cookies. As I said, don't judge, I was hungry. Problem three, the new Harry Potter movie is about to come out. So five, six of the 96 students wanted to go see the new Harry Potter movie. You tell me how many actual students is that? Ready, go. Hopefully by now you've got the pattern down. Step one, we take 96 and divide it into six groups. All right, and I'm gonna diagram it for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. You notice I can't really draw a straight rectangle. I don't know why. Okay, six into 96. Hey, if you have to do it over to the side, that's okay. Okay. Third is the 16. 16 students in each group. 16. And I'm just going to write my 96 up here so we don't forget. That's step one. Step two, that was 16. Step two is highlight five of my groups for me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, which is the same thing as saying 16 times five equals, heck, let's do it over here on the side. 16 times five is 80. 
That means that 80 of my 96 students wanted to go see Harry Potter. Problem four. Here, no fancy word problems. We're going with straight numbers. What is three-fifths of 35? You got this. Now, just because we don't have a fancy word problem doesn't mean we don't do it the same exact way. So the thing we're going to do is step one is divide 35 by 5, which gives me 7. Now I'm going to multiply my 7 times how many I've highlighted, which is 21. 21 is your answer. Problem 5, what is 3 eighths of 56? You got this. Let's do it. We know first thing we're going to do is 56 divided by 8, which equals 7. Step 2, 7 times my 3, my numerator, equals 21. 21 is my answer. Here's your final problem, problem 6. What is 3 fourths of $5, with my dollar sign in, and $5.64? Get to it. Just because this is money doesn't mean we don't do it exactly how we've been doing it all along. So we're going to take our $5.64 and divide it by 4. Let's do it over to the side. 4 into $5.64. Ah, look, I'm just taking care of my decimals right now because I don't want to forget them. So there they are. They're in place. 4 into 5 goes one time. 1 is left over. Bring down the 6. 4 into 16 goes 4 times. Bam. Bring down my 4. 4 into 4 goes 1 time. Which means each of my group has $1.41 in it. But I want to highlight 3 of these groups. So I'm going to multiply my 141 by 3. Let's do it over here. All right, 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 1 is 3, and 1 is 4. Are we done? No. Have we accounted for our decimal and dollar sign? We haven't yet, so let's do it now. Two spots up here means two spots down here with a dollar sign. So that means that 3 fourths of $5.64 is $4.23. See, works the same for money. All's good, right? How'd you feel? You feel good about that? Feel like you got it? I sure hope so. If not, go back and watch a few more problems. Make sure you got it right. Okay, I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.